Hey Arnold the movie. Those of you who are young kids back then that enjoyed the show and most likely the movie, good for you. The basic plot, that's pretty much the same as the movie, is saving their neighborhood to an evil businessman named Shrek, who is tearing down the neighborhood. And it's up to Arnold and his friends, especially um, Gerald. Gerald. Oh, the kid with the shape of a. Like one of those experiment potions. Those of you who watched the movie before, it's kind of like the same. The game is basically the same as the movie is. Also, I hate this commercial playing over and over again. As I was saying, after that unskippable commercial, the game aim is, well, you play not only Arnold, but Gerald, Rold, Grandpa, and Arnold's grandmother, and most likely the bus. This is like all you've seen in all video games, and since I did play this as a kid, since I did enjoy watching the movie and play the game, THQ did make interesting games, things like Finding Nemo, actually I'll get to that some other time. They did make pretty interesting platforming games at the time. The game's plot is you are doing some sorts of missions. The first one you had to go to Arnold's friends are also from the show. Which I will not say too many of them apparently. Because this review will be plain and simple. Hopefully this video doesn't it's a error blocked by the time I'm done recording this. Because I've been trying to record another game, and it just keeps blocking me every four, four times. Like every video game you've seen, and it's a platforming game, and you collect and use tomatoes as your weapon. And not to mention, and collect enough of footballs to get extra lives. Or find hidden extra limes. Because this game came out exactly the same time as the movie. From 2002 I'm guessing. It's been a long time since I watched the movie. Months ago. There's not much else to say about this. Is that you've seen all video games can be a little bit cheap price not to mention the characters are pretty well designed mainly perfect in this game the music's good too graphics do look exactly the resemblance to the show not to mention you who do like these sorts of things in the games too. And I like how they use the cutscenes in from the movie to put in the Game Boy Advance. That's pretty awesome. And like any type of game, it's one slash four. Or like Super Mario Brothers too, except this one has one slash four. Like any type of games that have world levels. Well, this game does make you do all sorts of challenging missions. As much as I like Hey Arnold, the movie was kind of almost dull at the point. But some scenes did make me laugh. 
screen the character er, that Arnold's love interest, Helga. Oh, which is the big, best character in the show. Anyways. She is in this game, but they're in cutout scenes. Like any type of video games, you have to use like different power-ups and fight miniature bosses. Some of the characters are not even in the movie. Only two of them that are not in the movie, apparently. But I did remember watching the movie because it had Christopher Lloyd in it, which is pretty awesome. As you can see, you can actually play Grandpa as well. But when I was a kid, I did not get past 3 slash 1. Um, if you're playing a game on hard mode. And you do get these passwords. Which will make the game almost easy to beat. I mean, if you didn't have enough time or effort into it, you could just easily skip all that. And yes, and grab... When you play Grandpa, his weapon is his teeth, because he's an old man. <laughs> Not to mention he's voiced by Dan Casanada, aka Homer Simpson, and most likely played the genie from Aladdin, which is from the TV show, which I find pretty neat. You have to find, like, most likely interesting treasures in the game, too. Like this stage here, for example, you have to collect enough explosives, just like in the film. Find random enemies like rats, bats, lawyers, and that's pretty much it. And there's Grandma, and she does throw tomatoes too. And just like in the film, she makes her escape. Uh, okay, you get the idea. To make this review plain and simple, well, this is all you do is climb here and there, jump here, use your weapons. It's pretty much a plain and simple game. It's actually pretty fun. You solve puzzles and all those kinds of efforting. Ink and the word for it. Just platforming. So overall, hey Arnold's the movie game is actually good. This has been like one of my favorite childhood games I ever played it. I used to have a case full of games, but somebody took them away. At least the graphics in this game are pretty great. Even from its early 2000 times. I like how they just put every character that are from the movie, including her. Bridget, a spy, which is pretty hot. And the final boss is obviously this guy, Truck. You know, in the movie, he's not much of a threat. But as a final boss, yes. If you want to see, like, the entirety of the game, it's probably worth buying. And on eBay or or some other pawn plays. If you are a huge Hey Arnold fan, and this game might be worth your time. If not, I I expect for you to just watch a TV show instead. So I give Hey Arnold, old 
a movie game, a 7 out of 10. It's not really the best game out, out there, but I actually enjoyed it. It was fun, it was great. I mean, ain't okay at most parts. I like the music, so I'll give it that. All I can say is, is enjoy watching the cartoon. And if you do like, like watching the show and play video games, this one will be worth your time. So, see you then, and you pretty much know what to do about this video, about more views. See ya!